Hello, my name is Mauricio, and in this presentation, I'll talk about uh, Embraer's critical chain story. Embraer is a global aerospace company headquartered in Brazil and has business in commercial and active aviation, defense and security, and agricultural aviation. The company designs, develops, manufactures, and markets aircraft and systems, providing service and support to customers. Since it was founded in 1969, Embraer has delivered more than 8,000 aircraft and is the leading manufacturer of commercial jets up to 150 seats. I'm the VP of Engineering for Commercial Aviation and I'm responsible for development of the Jet C2 family of airplanes and the product modifications and engineering support to all Embraer commercial airplanes in operation. I joined Embraer in 1985 and has occupied different leadership positions in engineering, product development and programs. My involvement with CCPM dates to 1998 when we started applying the CCPM concepts in engineering projects. Since 2012, I've been working to improve the implementation of CCPM for our multi-project product modifications environment and to new aircraft developments. In this period, I also led the Lean Engineering Works team of Embraer Excellence Program. This presentation has two topics. The first one is why we use uh, TOC CCPM in our projects. And the second one, a brief uh, history and results of the implementation that we have. So why TOC CCPM? First, it is a holistic approach. So you look at the project management and, and the project itself as a system and uh, try to understand the relation between the, the different parts, the task, the resources, the durations, and understand the relations of cause effect between them. And what defines the duration of a project? And once you understand this, it helps you to focus in what you must do to improve the project. And second, it takes into account the human behavior. There are different behaviors that we, we have in our day-to-day -day that uh, affect the, the duration of a project. Things like uh, uh, adding safety to each task when we estimate the duration because we do not want to fail in delivering things. Uh, doing different things at the same time because we think it's more, more efficient and it seems we are working more. Uh, using all the time we have to do uh, an activity instead of completing it early or even letting to do the activity at the last minute because we think that uh, nothing will go wrong. right? And uh, this for me is the biggest difference because CCPM takes into account these behaviors and consider them in proposing a solution to improve project uh, management. And third, it assumes that uncertainties are a fact. So if anything can go wrong, it will. And then it proposes a solution to take into account this. Conceptually, the solution proposed is very simple. So it starts reducing task safety to create a project safety. So for each activity that you estimate and put safety to not fail, you reduce it and get part of this reduction and add as a project buffer. So you protect the project, not the activities. And by protecting the project, it means that we have to protect the critical path of the project. So the buffers you add, you are all uh, defined to protect or the main path or things that could affect that path. And finally, you manage the project by looking at its buffer consumption. So the status of the buffer define what you need to do, if you have to monitor, if you have to prepare mitigation plans, or if you have to implement a recovery plan. 
in a very complex uh, project or in an environment with a lot of projects, this reduces a lot the work of the project manager because it uh, directs it to the things that are critical. One important point is that the buffer protects the schedule without adding margin. So you reduce the safety embedded in each task to build the buffer. And it is a solution for a single project or a portfolio of projects. The difference is that when you have a lot of projects in a multi-project environment, you have resources that are shared among the projects. And this resources may be an additional constraint to the whole system and define how you uh, how is the performance of your whole portfolio ccpm changes your mindset when you deal with uh, projects so you have to focus in the way forward how we're going to improve your buffer consumption and not looking at looking behind and seeing why you progressed less, why you are behind your milestones. So what's important is the way forward. So after this explanation of why we decide to use CCPM for project management, let's talk a bit about uh, the history and results of our implementation. 